Say the most expensive setup that I've had on the channel. Oh shit. 26 by 14 Amani Forge. I fucking love this truck. today's video but it's cold as fuck out here right now it's probably a good 40 45 degrees and for the the boy from Florida that's cold but I'm super excited I got something really really fucking cool to show you guys today probably the the craziest truck that I've had on the channel I think at all and you guys can obviously tell by the thumbnail but my guy drove about an hour to come see me and we're gonna put him on the channel we're gonna make sure that it's right as long as the rain holds up as long as the rain holds up Oh, this is nice. It's, it's definitely not as windy up here. I really like that. That's that's nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I told you guys, I, I should. I'm probably gonna go out and say this has to be my favorite one that I've done in the last couple of months by far, and. A lot of the times there's nice wheels on a truck, there's nice paint, there's nice, you know, whatever the case is. I, I was just looking at this truck down, down in the parking lot when we first got here and literally every single part of this truck is, is done, is, is either powder coated or nice or aftermarket. It just, it literally, it's the pinnacle of what you would want your lifted truck to be and he's still not done with it. He's still not done. Before we jump into it, I want to thank my guy for coming through. This is literally, it means the world to me. It means the world to you guys because I know you guys love seeing the content. And there's going to be more Team Billet on the channel in the next week. We're all going to a show this upcoming weekend on Sunday. What is it? December 5th, the Toys for Tots. Never Satisfied Builds is throwing a show. Make sure you guys come out. All the info for the show is on my Instagram. Make sure you go follow me and go check that out. Make sure to go follow my guy as well. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. But I'm gonna stop talking and just get into it because I know you guys wanna see this truck. So like, like I said, I'm not sure where to start because every little piece of this truck is aftermarket. I think the only thing that hasn't been touched is the exhaust on this truck and maybe some of the engine work. But it just it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. I've had a lot of red trucks on the channel recently and I love the red. You guys need to know that at some point my truck in the Tahoe will be wrapped red. I'm gonna have red wheels, I'm gonna have a red, red lift kit. It's, it's all gonna be red. But down, down to the color match. I mean, the, the inside of the headlights are color matched. The entire bumper is color matched, uh, which may come that way. It probably does come that way. But every little detail, I mean, to the bullet antenna, to the cab lights on top, the Boost Auto Parts mirrors, or actually those are probably factory mirrors for a Denali. The tail lights are color matched. The emblems are all blacked out. We got the color matched Gen Y hitch on the back. He's even got the, the color matched little spikes to go on the license plate. Huge shout out Team Billet. It's the first person I've met from Team Billet. I've been talking with some other members on Instagram, but huge shout out to Team Billet. Definitely the top of the top as far as truck clubs to be in. Everybody dreams of being in Team Billet. They have the best of the best by far. I've really been on my wheel grind recently. I love wheels right now. It's probably because I'm super close to getting new wheels myself. Little teaser for you guys. And we're super close to finalizing something on getting some new wheels for the truck and for the Tahoe, which means a lift kit coming for the Tahoe pretty soon. But one, one of the, I would have to say the most expensive setup that I've had on the channel. If not yeah, I would, I would probably say the most expensive. These are probably just as expensive as the 30s I did a couple weeks ago. But one of my favorite wheel companies right now, we've got a set of 26 by 14 Amani Forged. Huge shout out to Amani. Huge shout out to Ed Amani. I mean, I love those guys so much. They also own XF Off-Road, but such an amazing wheel company. They, they have an amazing product and the designs are absolutely killer. I just, I love how clean and simple it is. I really want polished wheels, but I, I just, I have to go red. I think I gotta go red. He's got the double row wheel lights on here, a must have if you have chrome wheels. And he's got the 38, 15, 50, 26 Furies. Right now, Furies are definitely the move. I think Furies, as far as the big crazy sizes, the big crazy sizes go, Furies definitely got the market cornered. I think they're on top of their game right now. And I, I really think Fury might be something I might look into when we do ours. When I first saw this truck a couple months ago, while it was in the process of getting done, I thought it was a I thought it was a McGoy's lift kit. I really did. 
and I'm saying that to say huge shout out to Pro Comp Lift Kits for, I mean, it's a great design. I love the way that the Pro Comp looks. I thought it was a McGoy's, and I'm just, I'm saying that because I love the way that it looked. So we got a seven to nine inch Pro Comp Lift Kit, all powder coated, of course. I love the way that this Pro Comp Lift Kit looks. Normally, I don't like Pro Comp Rough Country because they're, to me, their cross members are really just, I don't know, kind of plain and basic. The, to me, a lot of times people buy a lift kit because of the way the cross member looks, to be honest. But I love the way that this Pro Comp lift kit looks. It's powder coated, it's got the black emblem on the middle, and literally everything under this truck is powder coated. Lower control arms, the spindles, the sway bars, the sway bar links, the hell, the, even the CV axle is painted to match. I mean, literally, these guys have gone above and beyond. The, uh, what are they? Not the track bars, but the, you guys know what I'm talking about. The torsion bars, Fox shocks under there, the Fox shocks with the reservoirs, color matched, of course, and the beautiful kryptonite upper control arms. Best of the best. Literally, everything underneath here is the best of the best. It's done right. We've got some, some crazy upgraded tie rods. Those don't look like those are going anywhere. Damn, that's that just that literally that's uh, that's perfect. It looks great. I'm sure it rides great. It really doesn't get any better than that. I wish you guys could really get a look at the way that this red color looks, and you might have already, but this red has so much sparkle in it. I just I really love this red. Why my camera's not focusing? Come on, man! It needs to focus so you guys can see it. But even just the rear diff is painted. We got the aftermarket hitch cover on the back. Always a necessity, even with the. Uh, it looks like it's got the color matched face as well. It's black with the red face on it. That's cool, man. The whole axle is powder coated or painted. I think, I think the diff is the only thing that was painted. I think the axle itself is powder coated, but even down to the blocks. Blocks are powder coated. Block brackets are powder coated. It just, everything on this truck was done 100% the first time. And obviously you, you can't forget the polished drive shaft. I definitely need to do that to mine at some point. I think the polished drive shaft is a very clean look, definitely. Color match Gen Y hitch on the back, always a must have. With the bolt lock, definitely. And one of my personal favorites, we got the uh, we got the D518, what are they, boat speakers back here? I'm sure these are loud. I'm sure, there's a ver I'm sure these are very freaking loud. And I, I, it's just a, a super clean look, you know. I I would much rather have boat speakers under here than some crazy train horn because the train horn's gonna get you in, well, I don't wanna say train horn's not gonna get you in trouble or would get you in trouble because these might get you in trouble too, but me personally, I definitely like the speakers on the back more than just the train horn. Speakers are more versatile. You can use it for different things. The train horn is just to be loud and, and obnoxious, which is still pretty fun though. Would this be considered peanut butter inside? Is that peanut butter? I think it's peanut butter is a little bit darker. Peanut, okay, Cl yeah. close enough. I mean, yeah. might as well be peanut butter. But yeah. the the point of opening the door is, I'm a I'm a huge fan of speakers right now, and this is one of the coolest speaker boxes I've seen. I've been talking about Jay in my videos a lot for the for the past couple of weeks. Jay's got a really cool box. Jay, are your wheels here yet? I know it's been 24 hours, but are your wheels here? Jay's got a super cool high country box that has the blue lights in it, but this one's got the red. I think if I could get the high country box with the red, I would definitely go that route. But I really like, I love, I, I'm really torn right now. because You guys know, I don't know if a lot of you know, but some of you might know, I have the middle console back seat in my truck. So the subs go over the back seat in the middle. Uh, I'm really torn right now between potentially transitioning into something like this because this is sleek, it's secure. You can still have the LEDs on the side and in the front. And it, I mean, it hits just as loud. These tens are 12s. Ten. So there, you got two tens back here. If you get the right tens, they'll be just as loud as like the 12s that I have. So they'll sound the same. And you can still use your whole back seat. Like right now, I can't use my whole back seat because you got that big ass sub box in the middle. Now, don't get me wrong, it's cool. But I, I've seen a lot of people doing this recently. And it's really making me, you know, kind of kind of sway back and forth one way. And I don't know, maybe we'll switch it up at some point. But for now, super clean look, love the red. Definitely, definitely the move. I don't even know if I talked about the, the wheel lights or the rock lights. So it looks like we've got at least three rock lights per wheel well. You got any under the truck? We got like four under the truck or we got three each wheel well. Where's my math? Three, six, nine, 12, probably about 15, 16, 17 wheel lights on the whole truck or rock lights. And then we got the double row wheel lights on, uh, on each of the wheel. I'm a huge fan of the wheel lights. I know a lot of people recently I've been talking to think they're tacky or think they're weird. Um, 
I mean, I can see both ways, but just me personally, I love the flashy. I love the big, bright. I mean, it just, I enjoy it. Plug real quick, you shout out to Lighting Trends. Lighting Trends has great products. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lighting Trends. I don't know what brand these are, but these are really bright. The one thing I will say about these, these are, they, they're double-sided. They're not side-by-side -side wheel lights, but they're, they have one on the outside and one on the inside, which I don't think I've seen before. Maybe other people have seen it. I haven't seen that before, and I, I, I really like this style potentially better because this shows more into the wheel than just outside it actually shows up and down so something something to think about one thing i actually talked about this when i filmed with kevin a couple weeks ago the red 19 the red 2019 1500 one thing that i love about this truck and really sets this build apart from a lot of others is he's got the you see how they've trimmed for the lift kit here he's got a black covering on the edge I don't ever see that at all. Like I, this is the only truck I've ever seen. And when I saw this truck at the show a couple weeks ago in Norcross that bam through, I actually saw this and I judged based upon that. Like I, I love the fact that this has been done to the truck. You never see that. So huge shout out to the builders of this truck for doing that. I mean, that just, that blows my mind that somebody would do that. I need to, we need to have a lot more people doing this to be honest. It just, it looks really good. All right guys, listen, listen. Listen, you guys need to go fuck. Look at this. Look at this. That's, oh my God. I fucking love this truck. I love this truck. I want my truck to be this big and all this red and all that chrome. I just, I want that. Look, I'm gonna be honest. It's starting to flurry. I'm from Florida. I don't like it. The cold, the cold. The cold is not fun. My guy here is from Mexico. That we don't like this cold shit. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Take one good look at it. He's got some new stuff coming. I'm not gonna say what it is because I'm not the kind of person that's gonna spoil stuff for people. But look, take a good look. It's gonna change. It's gonna get bigger. That's all I'm saying. Make sure to follow my guy on Instagram. You guys are the best. Show love to the bread gang. Throw some bread emojis in the comments below. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Let's get this bread. Get this bread.